Hey, my name is Clay. Will you create with me today? Come join the creation station and think. Hello there, friends. My name is Clay, and I want to welcome you to the creation station. We call this the creation station because God is a creative God. So that means we are creative too because he made us to be like him. Oh, I forgot to introduce you to my friends, Buttons and Dot. Heidi ho my name is Buttons, and this is my friend Dot. We are so excited to have you join us. Yeah, we are. And I was thinking, would you like to be makers with us today? Yes. Yes. Dot, that's a great idea. I love the way you think. Uh, before we start this craftastic day, everyone stand up and let's sing a song together. Oh, what, what fun. fun. You sounded amazing! You can take a seat. When we craft and create together here, there are two rules we follow. Can you tell our new makers the rules of Creation Station? Of course we can, Clay! Boys and girls, let me see you wave one hand and say, Be kind! Be kind! We can be kind by staying quiet so we can hear each other and not miss any instructions for our special projects. That's right! Now, let me see you wave two hands and say, Be safe! Be, be safe. safe! We can be safe by keeping our hands and craft tools to ourselves and staying in our seats so we don't mess up anyone's creation. That's it! Easy peasy! Oh, did you hear that? Buttons and dot? Colorful crayons, I sure did. Makers, that sound means we have another maker friend who wants to show us the creation they've been working on. That's right, let's check it out and see what's crafting. Hey Clay, hey Buttons and Dot, my name is Wesley and my best friend got a brand new poppet toy and I want one so badly. Since I don't have one, I'm going to make my own fidget toy. Everything is here. There we go, it's time to get crafty. Well, I did it. This is a pretty cool fidget, but it's not a poppet. Man, I just really want that poppet my friend has. I know. When he's not looking, I'll just take his poppet. Then I'll finally get what I want. Oh, I love the 
way Wesley's fidget toy turned out, but we need to help her with what she's thinking. You're right, Dot. Friends, to help Wesley, we need to put on our thinking caps. To finish making our thinking caps, do you think we need paint or glue? Paint! That's right! Everyone grab your paintbrush! Perfect! Now, makers, let's start painting our thinking caps! We did it! Now, everyone reach up to grab your thinking cap and put it on! What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Catch it, check it, change it right now! Catch it, check it, change it. You can catch any thought you have, and you can check it with what God says is right and true. If you're not sure, just ask Him. Then, if your thought doesn't match what God says, let him help you change it. Catch it, check it, change it. That's it! Wesley needs to catch her thought. We do that by asking, what am I thinking? Makers, was Wesley thinking that she wants the toy her friend has? If you think so, nod your head like this. That's exactly what Wesley was thinking. And she was thinking about taking her friend's poppet. So now we need to help her check those thoughts with what God says. I think we do that by reading God's word. Right, Clay? Right, Aruni. Do you boys and girls know what God's word is? The Bible. That's right. Makers, let's get ready to hear a story from the Bible by clicking on our listening ears. Click, click. click. Now, let's put on our special eyes. Zoop, zoop, zoop. You look ready now. Check this out. This is Miriam. You may have heard of Miriam if you've heard about baby Moses. Miriam was Moses' older sister. When Moses' mommy had to put baby Moses in the river, Miriam did what was right and helped her brother. As Miriam grew up, she kept doing what was right and thinking the right things. God even gave her the special job of telling messages to his people. But then something happened. Miriam started to think things about her brother Moses that were not right. She thought it was not fair that Moses, her little brother, was in charge. She started talking about these unkind thoughts to her other brother Aaron. God was not happy about this, so he told all three of them to meet with him. God spoke to them in a pillar of cloud and asked why they said unkind things about Moses. When he was finished speaking to them, the cloud disappeared and Miriam's skin was as white as snow. Moses cried out to God and asked for Miriam to be healed. But God wanted Miriam to know that there are consequences for wrong thinking. So she had to wait seven days and then God healed her skin. You see, Miriam stopped thinking about what God wanted and only thought about what she wanted. What God wants is always right. So that's what we should think about. When we have a thought that's wrong, God can help us catch it, check it, and change it to something that is true, right, and good. With God's help, we can think about what he says is right. Say this after me. Think about, think about what is right. What is right. That's it! Makers, God can help us think about what is right. Let's tell Wesley how to check her thought with what God says is right. How do we know what God says? Well, we can pray and ask him. And remember, we can look in the Bible. But the Bible is a big book. How do we know where to find something that will help? That's a great question, Dot. You can ask a grown-up to help. 
Good idea. Clay, you're a grown-up, so can you help? You know it. Here's something in God's Word that will change Wesley's mind about wanting what her friend has. It says, love does not want what belongs to others. Wesley, did you hear that? I sure did. If I love my friend, I don't have to be jealous and want what he has. I won't take his poppet because that wouldn't be right either. But what happens if I start getting jealous again? Well, you can remember that verse from God's Word. And you can ask God to help you think about what's right. Oh yeah, I can do that. You guys close your eyes and pray with me. Hey God, help me be happy for my friends and always think about what's right. I love you, amen. Amen. Thank you, Clay and Button and Dot. Bye. Bye. Looky there. Wesley can think about what's right and so can you. I want to hear you say this after me. Think about Think about what is right. What is right? Makers, you did it. You helped Wesley know how she can catch it, check it, and change it. Are you two thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking about chocolate ice cream. Is that what you're thinking? No, but that does sound really yummy. I think we need to celebrate with a song. Me too. Makers, stand up and let's sing. Great job, makers! That was so fun! But the fun is not done. I think it's time for us to play a fun game. Colorful crayons! Let's play! Okay, makers, clap your hands when you see the balloon animal Clay tells you to look for. That's right, Buttons! Makers, if you're ready to play, let me hear you say, Balloons! Balloons! Okay, clap your hands when you see a flower balloon. Good job! Now, clap your hands when you see an elephant balloon. You found it! Oh, this balloon has a question for us. It asks, did Miriam think right things or wrong things about her brother? Wrong things! Right, Rooney. Miriam had some wrong thinking happening for sure. It's not right to think mean things about others or want what they have. Let's play again. Clap your hands when you see an octopus balloon. That's it. Now clap your hands when you see a butterfly balloon. Good job. Now, one more. Clap your hands when you see a puppy balloon. 
Craftastic! This puppy balloon has a question too. It asks, who can we ask to help us think about what is right? A puppy or God? God! You got it, makers! Puppies are sweet, but they can't help us think about what is right. Only God can do that. When we have wrong thinking, we can ask God to help us think about what is right. Let me hear you say this after me. Think about. Think about. What is right. What is right. Good job, everybody. Whenever a thought pops into your mind, remember that God can help you. And so can our song. Makers, sing along with us. What, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? Catch it. Check it. Change it right now. That was perfect. Makers, as you go through your week, remember that God wants to help you change the way you think. And we will see all of you next week. Bye-bye.